Devin with the Cage Rage Podcast, and this is a CRP Minute. If you have not liked us yet on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, please go and do it. We are producing content on a daily basis covering mixed martial arts and boxing. And I want to spend some time talking about a big winner over the weekend on the UFC 235 prelims, Edmund Shabazian. He pulled off a big win in less than a minute in only his second UFC fight. And he's making some noise, and I wanted to look at this headline here. That 21-year-old, underline that, 21-year-old Edmund Shabazian aims to beat John Jones' record for youngest champ after UFC 235. Now, people will see these kind of headlines, the same thing like that I just shared a couple days ago with Macy Barber coming out saying she's going to be bigger than Conor McGregor and of Ronda Rousey. And they see these kind of things, and they you'll see laughing faces on the article being shared and stuff on Facebook. But the thing is, people aren't really paying attention to these younger fighters. And I thought Shabazian seemed very impressive. He's only 21 years old. He's unbeaten. He's got Golden Boy for his nickname. For God, for, I mean couldn't be any more perfect and he looked very impressive so I don't think we should just laugh stuff off like that I mean we got we got a young contender and when we look at uh Shabazian I'm not sure if he's going to be ranked after that fight but as I said 21 years old 9-0 and came off the contender series where he got a 40 second knockout win then he's 2-0 and since being in the UFC when we look at middleweight rankings, they are stacked. It's a very, very good division full of good talent. Whitaker, Romero, Rockhold, Jacare, Gaslam, Adesanya, Weidman, Paulo Costa, who's a freak. And, you know, I mean, they got they got some some veterans like Anderson Silva still in there. And so I don't I don't know how fast they're gonna push Sebastian, but I like that he's that he's thinking big. And I was very impressed with him and just his age alone makes you and having an undefeated record and looking that good makes you remember that we need to remember that name. So I'm going to wrap this up the exact way I wrapped up his fight uh, when I did the instant coverage after the fight on Saturday night. Edmund Shabazian is a name we should probably remember.